The Swamp Fox are deployed to Naval Air Station Fallon as a part of what they call Air Wing Fallon. And it, this is a very unique opportunity. It's the first time an Air Force squadron has uh, participated in the workup trials for a carrier air wing in preparation for deployment uh, next year. It's a uh, five-week graded event for the Navy, and we feel pretty honored because this is the first time a Air Force fighter squadron has been invited to participate during this sort of a uh, exercise. What we're here to do specifically is integrate with Naval uh, Aviation in a joint suppression of enemy air defense mission. Uh, our participation at Air Wing Fallon with CAG-1 has enabled us to not only work side by side with the Navy, which we've done many times in the past, but actually to truly integrate our tactics, techniques, and procedures. Our experience here at uh, Fallon has been incredible. We've had the opportunity to integrate our folks with uh, Naval Aviation and really get down to the brass tacks of how do we make this work. We've had some great successes helping them increase their lethality and survivability, which is something that is going to be critical as enemy air defenses have become increasingly more sophisticated over time. We are just scratching the surface of what these two services can do when we work together. Our mission impact, so our guys got in the airplane and they went out and they solidly contributed to the efforts of the carrier air wing and what they were doing. The big thing we brought to the fight they haven't seen before is reactive seed, which is the bread and butter of what this organization does. CAG Uwald was ecstatic about the results of our integration. And that was only possible because of the efforts of everything you guys were doing. We're learning a lot about the mission. We're learning how to work together. And uh, again, that effectiveness in combat is going to probably be what we see as success for uh, having done this training together. Well, it gave us insight to the unique mission that obviously the Skang executes and then brings to the fight. And it gave us the opportunity to learn that and then for your unit to learn what we do and how we execute our strike missions as a component and how we support the CFAC again in those joint combined operations. More importantly, we've probably built some relationships between the pilots and then now we can speak the same language. I'm confident that on day one, uh, if we meet if we meet the uh, the 157th downrange, that we're going to be successful. We know that we have to do it together. We're going to be better as a nation, defending our country and defending what we believe is right. But we do that by knowing what the strengths and weaknesses and how we can best capitalize on those things together. Again, we thank you all for coming, and you've made us better. And hopefully, we've we've shared a little bit of what we do with you. And again, we look forward to uh, doing it again sometime.